What's up everybody, it's your girl Simone. Welcome to my channel. If you didn't know, now you know. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join my team. Today is a very, very special video. I'm so happy to be announcing that it is a collaboration video with a good friend of mine. Her name is Jayla. She goes by J Money on YouTube. She's super dope, talented. She's so insightful and she's a real ass person. She is a beauty YouTuber just like me. She's so down to earth, y'all. Um, she's a Pisces. I fuck with Pisces. And I don't know, we just click like we got a lot in common, low-key. We're about the same age. She's coming up on YouTube as well. So I really want you guys to check out her channel. I'm going to leave a few clips here in the video for you guys to see. Well, go subscribe to her channel she talks about some real stuff and she you know she's relatable you know what I mean she's dope she's super sweet and I really like her a lot hopefully we'll be doing some collaborations in the future but I will leave her link down in the description box below so you can check her out as well as her social media accounts okay we decided to do a um, a summertime you know something real cute for the summer and we decided to both go ahead and do glossy lids she decided to do a turquoise glossy lid and honey I decided to do a reddish orange one okay and I'm feeling it y'all y'all know I love the, the color red I already have a YouTube video with a um, tutorial using some red eyeshadow this video is a three in one so I will be doing my eyeshadow for you guys um, also I will be reviewing this wig if y'all like it so far keep on watching um and how much it is and all the details and everything for you guys later on also i will be showing you guys the outfit that i chose for this video because i am going out trying to get cute or whatever and um i felt like this outfit that i have on that you guys will see later on goes really well with my eyeshadow and my look for today so if you guys are interested on finding out everything that will be in this video just keep on watching it's gonna be a lot of content so you know if you just want to skip through some stuff that's fine if you want to see how I got how I got my eyeshadow or my um, my glossy lids today keep watching okay guys so first things first I have washed my face I've moisturized. I did throw on a little bit of the Mario Badescu rose water. I kind of sprayed that on my face just to hydrate my face after washing my face and that's important. I don't have troubled skin much anymore. Back when I was in high school, 9th to 10th grade, my acne was terrible. It was terrible to me but it wasn't anything that couldn't be dealt with. I didn't have that type of acne where it was like little bitty pimples everywhere. I would get these fat pimples that would just, like it would be like one at a time and they would be huge. They would just, it would be the focus of everything on my face. I've been using the turmeric mask. I've been looking up a lot of videos on how to use the turmeric mask or how to make it. And I did get the organic turmeric from Walmart and I put in honey and lemon juice and so I've been using that on my face it really really works I'm trying to tell y'all y'all need to make a turmeric mask but anyway that's kind of how I've been taking care of my skin I'm gonna do a skincare routine video I feel like because people always tell me I have great skin whether I wear makeup or not so I'm trying to focus on just you know hyperpigmentation discoloration on my face getting rid of all of that but anyway we are going to get right into the tutorial okay i'm not going to show you guys the full face today because i just feel like it's 
monotonous like why am I showing you guys the same routine every single time and I'm using the same products so I'm we are going to skip right to the eyeshadow because that's the most important part and then my wig and then my outfit okay first things first I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer on my eyelids and I'm just gonna blend that out I really want um, the colors to pop so I'm gonna be using some concealer and I'm gonna set it with my eyeshadow because um, I feel like that's how you get the best color payoff and I'm just gonna kind of blend this in with my fingers tapping that And I'm going to be mixing a blaze and fire, which is the red and the orange, the red and the orange shade right here. I'm going to be using this elf brush right here. It's like a flat fluffy brush and it's going to help me to pack this on my lid. kind of packing this all over my lid. So now I'm gonna take Orb and just to kind of blend that out, that color out. keep that one side of the brush that touched the red so you see how my brush has like some red mainly on this portion right here I'm gonna try to keep that one side of that brush on where the red is on my eyeshadow because I don't want it to transfer too too much I just want it to blend out the edges those two shades fire and um, fire and a blaze again and we're gonna take that back into our lid area so we're gonna tap that back in there and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna blend it out and this would be super dope if I left it by itself but I'm not going to so here we are I have put on highlight I put on my lashes I have put on um, white eyeliner. This is the uh, Maybelline New York Lasting Drama White Liner. Um, these lashes are the Kiss 06 lashes. I always want to say Ardell, but they're the Kiss 06 lashes. The highlight that I'm using today is the LA Girl Strobe Light Highlight. I actually really love this highlight. I've put it down for a little bit, but. It really was my favorite highlight back at some point in time and I'm starting to realize why um, I feel like this highlight doesn't look good with every look but right now this highlight is giving me life okay I'm gonna reset my face with the elf um, makeup mist and set I did go in and make my beauty marks darker. So now basically all we have left is um, just any little final touches that I want to add. Um, I do want to uh, showcase something um, that I'm going to be using in a different video, but I wanted to use uh, a color out of this palette I'm gonna go in with this color called chestnut which is this color right here and um, this is gonna kind of act as my blush I'm working kind of backwards right now so excuse that but I'm just gonna use this kind of like as a blush on my cheeks just to you know give me a little bit of color here cuz I feel like I look a little land so I'm gonna dip 
going to something that's very special to me that I haven't necessarily used yet in any of my videos, um, but that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. I am obsessed with this palette, you guys. I haven't used it yet in any of my videos. It's a little intimidating, I'm not even going to lie, but best believe I will use it and the look I do with it will be bomb. So just keep, you know, stay tuned for that if you want to see me use this palette. But super, super gorgeous. I love this palette. And you guys, I got this half off at Macy's around 420 back when I was in Colorado. I'm going to use a color today. And that color is, and the color I'm going to use is Lucid. Lucid is this really pretty iridescent white. And I'm going to pop this in the inner corners of my eyes. and I'm gonna pop it under my eyebrows. Now for the fun part of this um I really could leave this like as is it looks really good actually without it but I am gonna for, you know for the sake of the video obviously because this is what we me and um Jayla plan to do J money this is what we planned on doing for our video and that is glossy lids I'm just gonna take my finger and a little bit of gloss I'm going to put that on the back of my hand first and I'm just gonna tap this on my lid because you don't want the color to move a lot. Other makeup artists, when they do glossy lids, they tap the color on specifically because they don't want the color to move around much. So that is what I'm doing because I want it to be super glossy and super, super shiny. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this clear gloss right here is it's from the beauty supply store, so it was cheap, but it's uh, Broadway, it's by the company Broadway, it's coconut oil, um, clear gloss, and uh, so it was super cheap, and I just needed a clear gloss, so I just went to the beauty supply store and got me some clear gloss, girl. Make sure I get my whole lid, but when it comes to getting it up here, I'm going to kind of take my pinky and I'm gonna diffuse it out a little bit so it's not too shiny but you can still kind of see it I want the most shiny part to be towards the bottom and I kind of want it to just you know what I was going for um I'm gonna take uh, those two colors and I'm gonna go back under my eyes just to make sure that color is really coming through so I'm gonna do a little something different for the lip today I do want to kind of bring in the red but I'm, I'm gonna try something, um, something that I've seen on Instagram. Jump, this lip, this jumbo lipstick is from or by Ruby Kisses. Um, y'all, everything on it is scratched off, but it came from my beauty supply store, y'all. I get so much makeup from the beauty supply store, I don't even care. 
but it's like a coralish red color and I'm gonna put this down in the center of my lips in the center of my lips only and I'm gonna kind of tap it with my finger a little bit That is just enough color that I'm going for. I really want my eyes to show out more than my lips. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rest of that clear gloss and I'm just gonna put it on the rest of my lips. So it's like just enough color. So the last step is of course adding some mascara. I'm using the um, Wet n Wild Max Max Fanatic Mascara. So this concludes my makeup look for the video i'm just gonna keep the ball rolling and move on to the next segment of this video so just keep on watching okay guys so the next part of this video is of course moving on to the hair portion this wig was sent to me by four queens an amazon company i really like this wig a lot i get so many so many so many compliments on this wig you guys so many people think that this is my hair okay i'm not even gonna lie um what's great about this wig is even though it looks like it's not a manageable even though it looks like it's not easy, easily manageable all you have to do is well what i do is i take some mousse and all I do is I finger comb it through the curls and what that does is it helps to detangle the curls it helps to define the curls and it helps the curls look so luscious and gorgeous I do put a little bit of like argan oil or any type of oil that I have around when it's looking a little frizzy just to you know make it look hydrated and make it actually look like it is my hair this wig retails for $17.99, so it's super affordable. Obviously, it's in, it, it is a synthetic wig. So I did customize this wig just a tad bit. I took my razor comb and I kind of just used it to frame my face a bit, so yes. Cons about this wig, uh, the construction of it is not the best. Um, but it's a $17.99 wig, so what do you really expect, you know what I mean? The adjustable straps in the back tend to unhook a lot. So yes, this is what the wig looks like. It's super full. Um, the curls are so pretty and defined. I'm going to kind of turn so that y'all can see the back. Um, when you lift the hair up, the curls at the bottom tend to be more curly and pretty and defined but that is okay because like I said all I do is I take my mousse and I take my oil and I kind of just um, massage it through the hair uh, with finger comb it through the hair and get it really luscious and beautiful so if y'all are interested in this wig please click the link down below and we will keep this video on the zoom